What's up YouTube, Tricky Traps, so I made a mistake in the last video that all of you kindly pointed out, so thank you for catching a mistake very quickly and letting me know, so I'm going to talk about the mistake I made about the new item, Atma's Reckoning, and then I'm going to get into Shredder Shin 3.0, Season 8, the latest and greatest Shin development. But yeah, going over the mistake out of that I made, uh, it was about Atma's Reckoning. I mentioned it gave you a bonus 15 AD because this is what the image said, but apparently this image is of some champion with low HP. Uh, but essentially, if you were playing Shen and had 4000 HP, it would give you 100 bonus AD, which is a lot. But my stance on this item still does not change. I still don't think it's going to be that great because Shin doesn't do well with flat AD. So yes, it does give you a lot of AD if you get to that 4000 HP. But um, yeah, I still don't think it's going to work well because Shin just doesn't do well with flat AD. I think there's better items in the game for DPS for that amount of gold. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a mistake I made. It does not give you 15 AD. It gives you, well... If you have that in HP, it gives you 15 AD. But yeah, essentially, if you're playing a tank, it's going to give a lot more AD than that. So thank you guys for catching that. I appreciate it. Getting into Shredder Shin. I'm going to go over runes. I'm going to go over builds. I'm going to go over playstyle. And then also show you some Shredder Shin in practice and how it is actually working in games. So getting into the runes first, I've got my Shredder Shin page here. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So, press the attack is the go-to here. I did try Conquer for a few games. You guys noticed it and asked me why I was running Conquer, and honestly, the answer was I was just testing it. Uh, it turns out it is not that great on Shin. However, press the attack is very good on Shin, and uh, it's not just me that is doing well with press the attack. There's actually a master Korean player that one of you linked me today, so thank you, whoever that was. I don't remember, but I have the link somewhere. Uh, it's a master tier Korean player who runs press the attack on Shin and he doesn't do Shredder Shin But it's kind of the same mentality. It's a bruiser Shin build uh, But yeah, it, it I think that's the way to play Shin this season I mean it's working for a master tier Korean player So it's got to be got to be half decent So press the attack is the highest DPS that I've been able to achieve consistently So I think this is the go-to here and then secondly, I would go triumph Legend Alacrity, as you guys know, Shin is very reliant on his Q for DPS, and his Q is auto attack based, so the more autos you can get off, the higher DPS you are going to do. So that one's kind of straightforward. And then Coup de Gras down here because that's just the best of the three options. Once again, more DPS. And then Inspiration for your second, the 18 attack speed is... Oh my goodness, it's spicy, I love it. But, Magical Footwear, as always, why pass up on free boots and 10 more movement speed? Save 300 gold, get your items sooner. It's it's a win-win. And then Cosmic Insight for all the CDR you would ever need. Yes, you do waste the 5% max CDR because you don't really max Shin and CDR, but uh, you do use the other three, so it is still really efficient. It's nice to have your TP up and Flash up more often and your Titanic up more often. And then, obviously, just 5 flat CDR is nice as well. So these are the runes for Shredder Shin that I am... I've been, uh, I've been testing out. And yes, I will be playing with these runes in Ranked for my Unranked to Diamond series, which is currently going on. So if you guys want to follow that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Man, you guys like that plug? Snuck it right in the middle of the video. Right in the middle. But yeah, this is the rune page that I will actually be using in Ranked for my Unranked to Diamond series. So if I change anything, I will let you know, but this is what I'm going to try to get to Diamond with on this account, this rune setup. So I'm going to try to get Shredder Shin to Diamond uh, on NA, so we'll see how that goes. Should be pretty easy, honestly. Shredder Shin is, it's not like a trolley thing, it's actually like a legitimately good thing. It's actually surprising. But uh, getting into the items here. So this is my item set here. This is pretty much all you're ever going to need right here right here and I'll explain why uh, as I go through this but starting items I start Doran Shield, Pot and obviously a Ward I'm not sure the best starting item here you could go Doran's Blade the Korean Master Shin player that runs press the attack and kinda does a similar thing he runs call first sometimes so uh, I may try that I'm not sure I'm gonna have to experiment with starting items so honestly start whatever you want I don't have the best answer for what is the best because I haven't really experimented with the starting items, but uh, Call seems to work for him. Doran's works for me, so 
Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. Just try it out and let me know what works for you. I might try Doran's Blade as well. Who knows? Anyway, starting items is not the real spicy part of this build, but getting in to the the shoes here, the Nike is not the Nikes, the Converse. Yes, I'm a huge Converse fan. If you guys didn't know that, I've got like six pairs of Converse in my closet. I love Converse. Converse, hit me up, sponsor me. <clears throat> anyway. So Ninja Tabbies and Mercs, those are usually your two go-to. I added Swifties in here because once again, that master tier Korean player, and I would I would uh, say his name or link it or anything, but I don't speak Korean. I don't know how to, even know how to pronounce it. Everything was in Korean. He spoke in Korean in his videos. I was just watching the gameplay, uh, and I only knew what he was doing because obviously the icons are all the same in every region. So I knew what he was running. I just didn't know exactly what was happening. So <laughs> yeah, he runs Swifties in almost all of his games with Shin. So I'm going to be honest. I haven't really tried Swifties with Shin, but I'm kind of curious now. So I may be busting out some Swifties here in ranked. But as always, Ninjas and Mercs are usually your go-tos. But Swifties, maybe, maybe it's good. I mean, it saves you 200 gold or cheaper. And the movement speed would be nice. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out. But getting into the items, these are items that I have tested and have validated. And these items were also a part of my Shredder Shin build last season. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, it is on my channel somewhere. But yeah, these are returning items and they all work really well together. And I will explain why right now. So essentially what you want to do is you want to get Titanic first. For mainly the wave clear, obviously the DPS and HP is good. But uh, the wave clear is the big thing. You don't want to be constantly farming under tower. With this build, you want to be more aggressive and you want to pick fights and duel as much as possible and abuse your lane opponent with press the attack. So uh, get Titanic first. And then after that, if you're against AP, you can get, uh, I wouldn't recommend getting Wits in first, but I would recommend getting maybe just the Negatron cloak from it and then building an armor item. But uh, I guess it just depends on how the lane's going. But I would get Titanic first. I would get a armor item next, like Sunfire or Thornmail. Deadmans I would build later in the game. I probably want to build that first. But these two items I think are your go-to. Obviously if you're against AD like Fiora or Jax or somebody who's, who's going to have some lifesteal uh, or is AD, Thornmail is a good way to go because obviously Grievous Wounds and it would inflict damage on them when they attack you. So uh, that is a good option against uh, AD champs like that, especially if you are who gets a lot of life steal. But yeah, so Titanic's good for multiple reasons. Pushing lane, it gives you good damage, gives you HP. Shin's damage scales off HP and attack speed, so uh, this does have attack speed, but it has HP and some AD, which is nice, and HP regen. So this all around, as you guys know, is one of Shin's best items, so that's a no brainer. Sunfire obviously is really, really good, but the reason Sunfire, Thornmail, Wits End and Deadmans are all so, so good together, and why they all synergize really well is because of <clears throat> magic damage. Yes, I'm talking about Shin dealing a butt ton of magic damage. Now, normally Shin does it mostly AD. It's, I mean, he does mixed damage, but it usually favors AD because of Titanic. But with this build, you'd be surprised at how much magic damage you're going to deal because you guys were not aware of it. Sunfire. Hits for magic damage. Thornmill hits for magic damage. Wits End hits for magic damage. Hmm, Deadbands also hits for magic damage. I bet you didn't know that one. Yeah, Deadbands actually <laughs> hits for magic damage as well. So all four of these hit for magic damage. And if you guys were not aware of what Wits End does, it steals the enemy's MR. So essentially, you're shredding their magic resist and then dealing a butt ton of magic damage. Makes a lot of sense. Almost like it's Shredder Shin. You're shredding their MR and then you're doing a ton of magic damage. Now you're probably wondering, why do I have an AD item if uh, I'm dealing magic damage? Why don't I just get another magic damage item? Well, Titanic, you need for multiple reasons, like I already mentioned, pushing waves. And yes, it still does a butt ton of damage because of the, the cleave active. Or not the cleave active, the crescent active. So it still deals a ton of of damage on top of dealing magic damage. So it is really nice to have mixed damage. This will give you a lot of mixed damage. Uh, a lot of magic damage and a lot of physical damage. So this is a very, very spicy build. If you guys have not tried this yet, you will be very surprised at the kind of damage you're gonna output. It is insane. Once you shred their MR, once you get this stacked, 
If you guys didn't know, it was buffed uh, recently, in the past, I guess, six months it was buffed. But they added five more MR, and then more on hit bonus, or more on hit magic damage. So they buffed it and they lowered the cost, so they, they like triple buffed it. It's really, really good for Shen. Shen is like the only tank that can use what's in really, really effectively. Not to mention, it's a super cheap item. It is one of the most gold efficient items in the game for Shen. Probably the best DPS item for Shen, uh, gold efficiency wise. It's only 2400 gold. Uh, this guy is 3500. So, yeah, it deals a, a lot of damage, a lot of magic damage. So, a couple things you want to keep in mind with this build. Press the attack takes time to stack. And you won't get those damage bonuses until it's stacked after three auto attacks. So if you're gonna pop your Titanic active, do not pop it right away. Wait for the press the attack to get stacked so you get the damage bonus. Um, something to keep in mind. So pop the Titanic active after you already have your press the attack stack. Uh, that one's pretty straightforward. Also, this will take a little, I say a little while. I mean, you're gonna have so much attack speed. You're gonna be stacking this very, very quickly. But uh, you will notice the damage change pretty quickly once you start shredding the Ramar because all these hit for magic damage. Now, Dead Bands does not consistently hit for magic damage. It's only when you pop the Crushing Blow, which is based off your uh, momentum. So uh, initially, it's just going to be one hit that you take them with, but it is nice to have the bonus movement speed. And obviously, armor is very good. And there was something else I was going to mention about armor, but I don't remember what it was. What was I going to say about armor? There's some important part about dead man's, why you want more armor, but I already forget what it was. Oh no, Thornmill, okay, that's what it was. So not only does this work well with Witsin by giving you a little bit more magic damage, it also gives you more armor, which is very good with Thornmill because the cold still, no, that's not it, the thorns, <laughs> I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind, guys. But the passive on Thornmail, upon being hit by a basic attack, reflects magic damage equal to 10% of your bonus armor, plus 25. So it scales off your bonus armor, so obviously having another armor item is going to increase the amount of magic damage you are going to do to the Muni Champion attacking you. So another benefit of having Dead Bands is it gives you armor and also deals magic damage and also adds more magic damage to your Thornmail. So... All of these items work very, very well together. Uh, yeah, this is this is a fun, fun build to do, and I'm uh, I'm pretty pumped to do it in ranked. Like I said, I will be using this setup and this room page to get to diamond on this account. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna play Shredder Shen to diamond because if you guys haven't noticed, it is no longer tank meta at all. It is very far from a tank meta outside one champion. <coughs> Mundo, get out of the game. Mundo's the only broken tank right now. But anyway, it is far from a tank meta. Um, it's assassin meta, it's AD meta. I mean, with Conqueror, with all the true damage and champions, tanks just are not doing well right now, which is actually a good thing. I'm really excited to have the freedom to build more of a bruiser build with Shin. Uh, with this build, you're actually still going to be kind of tanky. I mean, you're, you're getting a lot of armor, you're getting decent MR, especially if you stack mercs with wit's end. Um, yes, you get 40 from this, but you also steal 30, so technically you get 70 MR from this when it's stacked, and then you get another 25 from this. So you're getting decent resist, decent HP with this build. This build gives you about 3500 HP, uh, obviously max level and max build, but I mean, your DPS is insane. It's unreal how much damage you do with this build. So, uh, yeah, that is all I have for you. That is Shredder Shin. I am pumped to try this out in ranked. I am pumped. Now, I did try this out already in a few games, but not in ranked. I have not played any more ranked games yet. But I will be finishing my placement matches hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping to get placed gold 5 or higher so I can start skipping the visions right away. But that is all I have for you guys. I thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you guys have not already. And have a lovely rest of your ninja flipping day.